Hi everyone, it's Rune One here, and I have no idea why I was fixing my hair because it's so short, but let's get into the main part of the video. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to play a chord progression in my style or my way, but once you learn it, it's going to be our way or our style. Here we go. Way number one. <laughs> And my way. So I'm guessing you want to learn my way. Uh, but yeah, the chord progression is C sharp minor, G sharp minor, A major, and then B major. I start my version with a blues lick. Oh, before I even start, how I like to approach chord progressions is I like to add a lot of passing chords. I like to change the chords to like adding extensions and change the chord voicings and stuff. And lastly, I like to put a, lo a lot of licks in between the chords. So yeah, that's basically what I do every time I approach a chord progression. We start my version with a minor blues lick, C-sharp minor blues lick. And then we finish it with an open B string. I'll play it slowly so you can follow. Frets 8 to 9. Then we play a C sharp minor 7, slide down the pinky to make a C sharp minor 9, open E string, G sharp minor 7, slide into a double stop from frets 1 to 2 on the D string, and then on frets 4 on the G string. Double stops just means every time you're playing two notes at the same time. And then with this arpeggiation pattern, I play an A at 9, I use an A major 9 as a passing chord, repeat that same arpeggio, arpeggio pattern with a B at 9, and then as a passing chord, we do a C diminished 7 with a pinky on the on night on the on frets 9 same arpeggio pattern this time with a C sharp minor 11 with an open E string we do bass note chromatic up into a G sharp minor 7 we start that with a low E string frets 2 frets 3 and 4 so 0 2 3 4 G sharp minor 7, half step down, half step down into F sharp minor 7, open E string, chromatic bass note up starting from frets 5, A over B, we move these two fingers a fret down, so we go from here, and we finish with your favorite E major chord. In my case, it's this voicing. By the way, if you don't know what an A over a B is, it just means it's an A chord. And then the B means that we're changing the root. So instead of the A here, we're doing the B root. So the lowest note will be a B. But the high part of the chord, it's an A. And that's how you play my style or you just learn how I approach chord progressions. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what other videos you want me to make. Most importantly though, half on playing, half on learning. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Take care.